Yo guys, be sure to watch the highlights so you guys can get a really good, better understanding of what kind of Car98 class setup you want to be using for a specific play style. Because there's two class setups that I address in this video, which is the Warzone and the multiplayer. So if you guys watch the highlights, get an idea, stick around, and then I'll show you guys the class setups in a bit. I'll see you guys in a minute. Mother of God. What the f did I just do? Get them without me or trade me. Oh my God, down one. I down one, I down one, I down one. Down two, all oh, right off the car too. Cracked one. Cracked one, cracked him. Hang on, Kuzo. Okay. I got these two over here. <laughs> He's like, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> With um, one over two, I use a Harrier just to take out the pave low. Or I use a Stinger. Come on. There's a five on. Under the bridge? Oh, no way. Crack the shield. Down him. There's one shot, man. Oh, beautiful two piece. Let's go. Down one? Yeah, I dropped his shield. Nice. Is there another one behind here? Oh, top blue, top blue. Oh my god, what a shot. Right behind this one. Alright guys, so like part of the gameplay got cut out from my recording. So this is just like the raw clips real quick. But I just want to address something real fast. Towards the end of the 25 kill gameplay here that I'm showing you guys that is cut up. Some of the gameplay glitched out on me and then my face cam ended up freezing on me. So you guys probably will see it at the end. And try not to mind it. I just have a little raw clips here and there. But you definitely can hear my teammates reactions and whatnot. Shout out to my boy Kuzo and Beats. And there's some like MP7 highlights as well. Um, just keep note that like I will show you guys MP7 class setup towards the class setup section of the video. So guys be sure to stick around for that. I see it. I see it. Over here. No way. Here, here. No shield, no shield behind me. Here. Oh, he's just finished me. Oh my god. Yeah. I got someone from mine. Oh, I'm not gonna get that kill. Oh. Okay. I throw the cluster to that guy. I... Same. Oh my god. Hang on. Wait, wait, second. Right there, right there. Go, go, go. Let's go, no, no, team wipe. No, no, Down no, no, one. Yeah. Watch one, right? He's one shot. Oh my god, like two guys one shot, second. Oh god. I got one of them. Nice. I'm at a 19 right now. We can get the house. You know what? Get the house. People, people for I got one. I got, I got the 20. Behind you. Oh, I'll get him, I'll get him, I'll get him. Never mind, I'm down one of them. Sorry, Teddy. It's okay, oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. If you get this house, I know you can get a lot of kills. You don't need to wait for them. Nice. Another guy over here. Yeah. He's right here. Down that guy. Yeah. Oh my god, no way. Team wipe. I'm no! Sorry, you guys are oh my god, my screen went black. What the f Hang on, hang on, no hang on. Don't worry, don't worry, don't okay, worry. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just sniping. Hand uh, marked him. Crack the shield. I'm down one. Stay with me. Down one. Down another. Where's the other guy? Oh if you got this part in the video and watched the highlights, thank big thank you. Now you guys get an understanding of what you guys want to use for uh, Warzone and multiplayer. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys the multiplayer class setup first. I use a swap class. I don't recommend it, but I'm just going to show you guys like what I use here. For the Car 98, there's a lot of things I want to address before I get into it. I'm going to go really in depth and descriptive about like why I use certain attachments because I feel like I didn't really get covered that much in the previous videos. So let's get right into it. Hey, yo guys, real quick, be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see 
see more class setup videos like this in the future. The first attachment here, I use attack laser because it just helps to aim down sight speed with the Con 98. I would love to have a fast paced sniper. One thing I do recommend to be careful of of this attack laser is the laser that is visible to enemies. So I wouldn't recommend like hard scoping around corners. I would probably recommend, you know, using it as a quick scoping type of class setup. Um, second attachment I use is the sniper scope, the optic sniper scope. You guys can rock like literally any optic you guys prefer. It's all personal preference. I like the cyber scope and the variable zoom the most. Uh, occasionally, I like to switch it up and use NVG, but cyber scope is 100% uh, my favorite and go-to. So for the stock, I use FTAC Sportcom. It helps out the aim down sight speed as well. And then the stipple grip tape helps with the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Basically, most of the attachments are just helping out you maximize your ADS speed. And then for the last attachments, I use slide of hand so that you're able to just reload and be able to play aggressive as possible. Um, a lot of times you just want to aim up really, really high with this sniper. You don't really want to increase any damage or anything because it, there's really nothing you can really actually increase with the damage. The FMJ doesn't make a difference and so doesn't the barrel. And for the perks, I run uh, double time or cold blooded uh occasionally i kind of got to go back and forth with it same thing with eod and then overkill and amped if i don't run overkill i'm definitely running ghost and c4 sim shot don't matter whatever you guys want to rock and if you guys want to see an mk2 class setup type of video maybe an updated version of it let me know in the comment section below all right so now on to the war zone class setup here um this is the one i used in the video it's called the long arm. This is actually a car 88 variant. So what I'm rocking with this is the skin guard custom 27.6 barrel. So keep this in mind that this actually just simply helps out with the damage range. You want to aim at the head most of the time when you're playing Warzone. You don't really want to like try to aim at the body. Uh, a lot of the times you'll get a hit marker, especially if they have shield. This is one that maxes out the range, the bullet velocity and the recoil control. This is the only thing that applies for, you know, things like Warzone and somewhat of damage. So this doesn't actually help in multiplayer. So again, tack laser is what I use. Um, you could also try to switch it up and put on a flash guard if the tack laser kind of bothers you. But if you want to play aggressive in Warzone and be able to quick scope, have that certain type of play style, then give uh, give the tack laser a shot. So then third, I use sniper scope for some weird reason. It is like it's stupid good for Warzone, especially with the cover shot reticle, uh, which I didn't address, but I'll address it right now in a second here. But um, you could rock a variable zoom as well. If you want to, you know, measure the distance, kind of like, you know, maybe variable zoom for closer range, you know, uh, long range, have it at an 8.0 optic, uh, whatever you guys prefer, man. I, I just simply prefer Simonscope because that's just my favorite site. So we have FTAC Sportcom and then the simple grip tape. So basically maximizing the ADS speed, simply quick scoping and making that feel from multiplayer onto Warzone. Other attachment you could use is flash guard. This is what I was talking about. So that when you guys see a glint across the map, Instead of seeing a glint, you don't see a glint. I rock that. I would not rock a uh, suppressor. I don't think it's even worth it. The flash air doesn't slow down your aim down sight speed. So that might be worth going for. If you want to sit back and like hard scale most of the time, then then yeah, you could go for that. So last but not least, radical cover shot. You guys already know, man. You guys don't have cover shot. Cross set is like the second best to go to. And then for the MP7 that I was talking about earlier in the video, if you guys were still watching, this is what I'd be rocking on the MP7. It's really stupid OP. And you could literally beam people across the map on war zone and be able to fight close range quite well. And if you're wondering, yes, that is the Atlanta phase camo, which can be found in the shop. So perks, EOD, overkill, and amp, C4, lethal, tactical, heartbeat sensor. So I can, you know, find my enemies up close and, you know, be able to snipe people from a long range, meet them in long range with the Con 98, and then the MP7 from like medium to close range. Also, if you guys watched my previous video on the AX50 class that I'm making it God tier, I described about how you can use the cover shot or maybe the cross thread as well to measure your shots from like travel time, not much of bullet drop. Travel time is very huge in this game, especially when you're trying to shoot ahead of the enemies. So if you guys want to see that video, there should be a little uh, pop up tag screen thingy somewhere around here. I don't know what it is, but just a heads up. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and comment down below saying fast car 98k so I know that you got this far in the video, all right? And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we'll be pushing towards 11,000 subscribers pretty soon here. So I'm hoping to hit it by the end of today or tomorrow. I don't even know. Um, next video should be a Carnegie MK2 video after like season four updates. So uh, if you guys are ready for season four, man, I'm ready. I hope that uh, Scrapyard or or some sort of new sniper comes out because we are long overdue, man. It's been about eight months. I don't even know. I can't even count at this point. Stupid, very stupid long time. And I just think that they need to like just do something and stop leaving us in the dust for our snipers. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.
probably a, a video up on uh, the Wednesday or Thursday. Not too sure yet. Don't do drugs and stay healthy, my friends. Whoops. I haven't done that outro in a really good while. Yo, real quick, just want to say a quick shout out to Just the Leads for commenting Sexy AX50 from the previous video on the AX50 video. Big shout out to you, my friend. Big thank you. Guys, don't forget, comment down below. Fast Car 98K if you want to get a shout out for the next video.